so I, I did mention that my previous life I was a teacher and teaching is one of the professions that very much uses journaling and it's one of those things that you know when when you do it and everyone around you does it you sort of assume that the rest of the world does it as well and and I did find it surprising sort of when I went out in the real world that journaling really wasn't something that was done in a lot of professions. In fact when you look at journaling and, and you know as part of this I was doing a fair amount of googling and looking around at journaling there's really only a few professions that really use journaling. Education being one, um, nursing being one and leadership is another area that's very strong in terms of using journaling. And uh, originally this piece was to follow a, 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 a fair amount of discussion on self-reflection so I'll sort of try and incorporate that as we go through but journaling really is that opportunity to stop and self-reflect. It, it's more a tool than an end to itself and what journaling provides is that ability to stop and really think about things. Um, so I thought I'd share forward some information about journaling um, starting with the very basics of what is a journal a journal is really a written record of your thoughts, experiences, observations. It's a platform and it is that platform for introspection, for that thought and reflection. It slows us down. It allows us to be very purposeful in terms of what we're thinking about. And again, it's that tool, that tool to capture our journey of self uh, of self-development and I think that's where our journals will be most useful as we move through the leadership program. Um, that ability to uh, see our journey and see our progression from where we start today to where we end up. So three key benefits of journaling, self-awareness and I, I love this picture. Yeah, I, I know you may have seen it before but I think it's just great. Really journaling is a method of developing that self-awareness. We all think we know who we are but when you take that time to really stop and think about you know what it is that makes you tick, um, what's, what are different circumstances and how they affect you, you gain a much deeper understanding of who you are and what we're all about and that's really been a lot of what today is about. So looking at our personalities, um, looking at our strengths, looking at our transferable skills and, and developing a stronger sense of who we are. Creativity. Um, journaling is, is actually an excellent tool in terms of being able to develop our creativity and think more creatively about everyday situations. Uh, it gives you that broader perspective. It's um, that quiet time and you know it talks about the fact that we're really fulfilling a very human need for stillness, for reflection, for that deeper understanding. Um, there's brain research that shows that relaxation um, and just sort of reducing our fears, taking that calming moment is, is an excellent way of really bringing about um, our abilities to think in broader and more creative ways. And another key benefit of journaling is that connection. It really allows us to um, step out of the daily rat race, that sort of run that many of us do. I know for me it's the consistent to-do checklist and you sort of run from one task to the next. And it brings you a spirituality and I, I mean that may or may not be uh, something in a religious sense. By spirituality I'm really talking about that connectedness. Connectedness to the people and things around you. Um, it really takes you, allows you to look at your daily concerns, your challenges and think about your uh, life in terms of your own spiritual lens, in terms of how really connected you are to, to what's happening around you. I really love this quote and um, when we were having a discussion, Glenn and I, about journaling and what journaling can really bring to you, it's a little bit hard to read on this screen or maybe it's just more, it's good? Okay, so uh, the Dalai Lama when asked what surprised him most about humanity said, man, because he sacrifices his health in order to make money, then he sacrifices his money to recuperate his health, then he's so anxious about the future that he not, does not enjoy the present, the result being he does not live in the present or the future, he lives as if he is never going to die and then dies as if and then dies never having really lived. And I think that was just very profound and I think a bit of a sad commentary on how many of us live our modern lives. That sort of always planning for the future, always doing, always moving forward, but never taking that moment to stop and live in the present. 
and appreciate the present for what it is. And I think really if that uh, would be what I would say is one of the biggest benefits of journaling is it allows us to really stop and think about the now and the present and, and do that self-reflection and really think about where we're at at this moment in time. Um, a few more, uh, I guess, interesting things about journaling. And really, I'm just trying to expand um, uh, an understanding of what journaling can be. Um, main reasons to journal to uh, increase that awareness, the appreciation for the here and now, the self-reflection, professional development. Um, journaling is an exceptionally useful tool in terms of professional development really looking at where you're at now, where you want to go, and many of the pathways that you can use to do that, and allowing you to sort of really stop and think and plan and create that. I think Ron was mentioning the roadmap, and, and in many ways journaling can provide that roadmap. Understanding your uh, key priorities, reducing that noise of what's always going on around us, uh, providing that clarification, our ability to really organize our thoughts, as well as the framework. Um, journaling can, can give you very much a framework to be able to think about something and uh, think about it in perhaps a different way than we normally do. And consolidating, that idea to uh, form things into larger concepts and broader concepts, which um, just as a side note is really one of the uh, big ways of reducing stress in our lives, right? When we can see things in the bigger picture and understand it in terms <coughs> of broader concepts. Journaling can really help facilitate things like problem solving and decision making. It provides that very private, non-judgmental format, um, facilitates new idea generations and problem, uh, uh, problem definitions, as well as giving us the ability to see alternatives and understand uh, both positive and negative implications of what we're looking at. One of the ways that we're really going to look at journaling is the fact that it can provide a forum. So it provides us um, a, a forum to be able to ask those questions about so what, or why, or the how, um, to really stop and think about something that we're, we're learning about and ask some of those questions that make us think about it in a deeper way. Uh, thinking ahead, jour journaling does give you that chance to really formulate tasks. Um, you can use it as an ability to prepare for a situation that's coming up and again just formalizing those thought processes. Being proactive, looking at causes rather than symptoms for some of the things that we deal with as well as giving that clarity and inspiring action. And finally journaling really builds self-knowledge. So talking about how well we know ourselves getting back to what's important, so looking at your feelings, looking at some of those situations, and when we were looking at uh, some of our personality profiles, we were having the discussion about some of us are better at feelings than others. <laughs> um, understanding our own point of view, so that ability to really look at an issue and think about what do I feel about that issue, what do I think about that issue, where do I stand on that issue and processing our emotions. Again, um, rather than just having those emotions as something that occurs on the side while we're busy going through life, it allows us to really stop and reflect and think about those. So how often should you journal? Um, really journaling will come down to um, how often you want to journal. Now there will be an assigned journal entry for each of the um, I don't know, sessions of within the program that we move forward with. So there'll be an assigned journal response, but your journal is something that you're gonna own. It's something that's really going to reflect your leadership journey as you move through. So make sure that you own it. If you want to write in it on a daily basis, you can do that, um, sort of that if you, uh, you can write with a fountain pen in a leather bound book, which is somewhat what we've <laughs> provided or you can write with your lucky pencil on the back of dollar bills um, if you're both superstitious and rich. The journal entry is up to you and you own it. And I think really that's um, something to think about in terms of how you do it. So um, we were talking about the idea of an electronic journal and, and methods to be able to do that. Um, and you, uh, Tripp, you were going to send forward um, a website that would allow us to do that. And Kim, I think you were talking earlier about the idea of a visual journal. Um, was it you? Yeah. Yeah mind, yeah, mind mapping. So whether your journal is something that you use to write 
uh, whether it's something you use to draw, whether you're mind mapping, concept mapping, whether you're doing it electronically, it's something you own. It's yours. It's your way of recording your journey, your way of pausing, thinking about, reflecting, and understanding some of the things that we're talking about as we go through the program. So own it. Make it something that's very meaningful to you, that's very useful to you. And maybe the journaling will be a bit of a journey in and of itself. You might start off with one method and then find something else suits you. You might start off writing long sentences and it may become more of a visual uh, concept map. So finding the process that helps you best express what you're hoping to, to uh, talk about and think about. Whenever you're stuck on a journal, um, whenever you want to maybe do one that's, that's not part of sort of the assigned journal piece, or whenever the assigned journal piece isn't overly meaningful to you, these are some sort of go-to questions that you can use. So again, that owning the journaling piece. So whenever we give um, a journaling um, uh, assignment, I guess, in relation to what we're learning about, if you look at that journaling assigned piece and it's just something that doesn't resonate with you, feel free to go a little off the track. Feel free to sort of take it to somewhere that is more meaningful to you or maybe spend a short time looking at, at what was the assigned piece and maybe spend more time on something that really resonates better with what you want to think about and learn about as you're looking at the topic. So at the end of the day, the journal, I think the biggest message is that the journal is yours, you own it, um, and make it as meaningful a tool as possible for you in order to both document your journey and sort of help you in terms of moving forward in developing your leadership skills. I think it's really good to have at least one experience of journaling in this group set, in this setting where you can start to do it and then that's actually when we start doing a task is often when all those questions come to mind that oh I didn't think about that when we were talking about it but now that I'm actually doing it I've got about five questions so we'll, we'll spend a few minutes as a group and really attempt to do our very first journal entry so you all have a gorgeous um, uh, journal book and I know that maybe as you move forward you might choose to do it electronically but maybe for the first one let's do it all in the journal book just because they're there. And so for the first journaling entry we thought we would take a look at some of the challenges that uh, you have overcome on your own leadership journey so far because we all have progressed to some degree in terms of our leadership capacities um, and thinking about where we're going and where we want to end up. So taking a moment to really pause and reflect two years from now, where do I want to see myself in terms of my leadership capacities, in terms of my leadership development? Where do I think I want to be? So again, I'm going to go back to Ron with his comment about creating the map and knowing where we want to go so that we have that stronger ability to end up there. And um, you know, maybe even going so far as to actually picture yourself two years from now, looking back at this journal entry that was your very first one and going, oh, that's interesting. That's where I thought I'd end up and here's where I really am. Who knows where it will be, how well. Um, so for your journal entry, I really just gave four questions that you can think about as you begin your writing. And I'll, I'll give a quick bit of advice. Sometimes it's best just to, so, well, some people prefer to ponder first and then start writing, but don't spend too long on the ponder. Sometimes it's best just to get that pen to the paper and have the writing start and, and see where it takes you. So the questions I thought we could think about as, as you begin your journaling is what do you hope to gain from the program both personally and professionally? What types of knowledge and skills do you think that you're going to need to be able to move you forward? So what do you see in terms of the things that you want to be developing? What types of things do you need to overcome? Uh, some of the barriers to successes in your life. So personally, we had the discussion on barriers to success. What do you really feel are going to be the key barriers for you that you're going to need to overcome to move forward? And what can you do to help yourself be more successful in moving forward in this leadership program? So four different questions. You can choose to focus more on one versus the other. Maybe make sure that you touch on all of those as you go through. And we'll just give everybody some time to, to uh, practice journaling.